Welcome back to Deep Universus, where we journey into the heart of the world's most fascinating environments to uncover the mysteries that shape our planet. Today, we set our sights on the Gulf of Mexico, a vast, vibrant expanse that holds secrets not just beneath its waves, but within its very foundation. We're not here for oil or sunken treasure, but for something even more valuable. Answers about how the Gulf influences our planet's climate and future. Mexican and international scientists are working together, extracting sediment from the Gulf's floor to solve a crucial mystery. What happens to the soil and organic material that rivers deliver to the sea, and how does it affect the global carbon cycle? For centuries, mighty rivers like the Mississippi have carried vast amounts of carbon-rich material into the Gulf, shaping its ecosystem and influencing the chemistry of its waters. Yet the ultimate fate of this material, whether it's locked away in the ocean floor or released back into the atmosphere, has remained a puzzle for generations of scientists. By carefully analyzing sediment cores, researchers are now able to peer back in time, uncovering how much carbon is truly buried deep beneath the Gulf's surface, and how much escapes, returning to the atmosphere to influence our climate in ways we're only beginning to understand. This groundbreaking work is vital for improving the accuracy of climate models, helping us predict how our planet will respond to changes in carbon emissions and environmental policies. By understanding these hidden processes, we can better forecast the future of our climate and make informed decisions for generations to come. While recent political headlines may focus on the Gulf's name or debates over drilling bans, there's a far more profound story unfolding just out of sight. Beneath the surface, a world of discovery is taking place, one that could change how we view the Gulf and its role in the global ecosystem. The Gulf is more than a resource. It's a living, dynamic system whose influence stretches far beyond its shores, impacting weather, climate, and life across the globe. As we continue to unlock its secrets, the Gulf of Mexico may hold the key to reshaping our understanding of climate change and our place within this interconnected world. To truly grasp the Gulf Sediment Project, we must first follow the remarkable journey of material as it travels from land to sea, a journey that shapes not only the coastline, but the very fabric of life in the Gulf of Mexico. Every year, rain and snow melt sweep minerals, decaying plants, and countless soil microbes into streams. These tiny particles and living organisms are carried by the force of water, gathering momentum as they flow into rivers like the mighty Mississippi Atchafalaya, which acts as a conveyor belt for life and nutrients. This vast river system drains over 40% of the continental United States, collecting runoff from farms, forests, and cities. It carries a massive load of organic matter and sediment southward, connecting distant landscapes to the Gulf in a continuous, dynamic exchange. Some of this material is tightly bound to clay particles, making it heavier and more likely to settle, while other parts dissolve or float freely, traveling great distances before reaching their final destination. Each year, hundreds of millions of tons of sediment reach the Gulf, enough to build new deltas, reshape coastlines and create fertile habitats for countless species. This constant flow is essential for the health of wetlands and the productivity of the Gulf ecosystem. For a long time, scientists believed this was a simple process of burial, where sediment and carbon simply settled to the sea floor. But the moment river water meets the salty gulf, a complex dance of chemistry and biology begins, transforming the fate of these materials. In this transition zone, chemical and biological reactions determine whether carbon is locked away in sediments for millennia or released back into the atmosphere as greenhouse gases. The balance of these processes is delicate and influenced by countless factors, from water temperature to nutrient levels. The fate of this carbon, whether it is buried or broken down, has global consequences, influencing the Earth's climate and the health of our oceans. Understanding this process is crucial for predicting future changes in the carbon cycle. That's why scientists are drilling deep into the Gulf's muddy bottom, extracting core samples that hold clues to thousands of years of environmental change. By decoding these layers, they hope to unravel the secrets of how carbon moves and transforms in this vital region. The answers they find could transform our understanding of Earth's carbon cycle, revealing how the Gulf of Mexico connects land, sea, and atmosphere in a never-ending flow of life and energy. When river water enters the Gulf, it's not just a simple mixing of two bodies of water. Instead, it's the start of a fascinating and complex natural process that shapes coastlines, influences marine life, and even impacts the global climate. A dramatic sorting process begins as the river's fresh water collides with the salty ocean. 
The two waters don't blend instantly, instead they form swirling boundaries and visible plumes that stretch for miles. Heavy sand and silt, carried by the river from far upstream, settle quickly near the river's mouth, building up new land and creating fertile deltas. These sediments are too dense to travel far so they accumulate close to shore. But the story doesn't end there. Fine clay particles much lighter and smaller remain suspended in the water, carrying with them most of the river's organic matter. These tiny particles can travel far out to sea, riding ocean currents for great distances. The clash of fresh and salt water triggers a remarkable chemical reaction. As the river's fresh water meets the salty ocean, clay minerals like smectite lose their grip on the organic molecules they've been holding onto since the river's journey began. Suddenly exposed, this organic matter becomes a feast for marine microbes. These tiny organisms rapidly break down the organic particles releasing carbon dioxide back into the water and, eventually, the atmosphere. Much of the carbon the river delivers is quickly recycled back into the atmosphere, not buried in the ocean floor as once thought. This rapid recycling has major implications for the global carbon cycle. This process is far more selective and dynamic than scientists once believed. Not all organic matter is treated equally, some is broken down almost immediately, while other types may survive the journey and settle on the seafloor. By sampling sediments at different distances from shore, scientists can track which types of organic matter survive the journey and which are lost along the way. This research helps us understand how rivers and oceans work together to shape our planet's chemistry. The Gulf is not a passive dumping ground for riverborne material, it acts as a gatekeeper, deciding what gets stored in the deep sea and what is lost to the air. This new understanding is reshaping how we view the ocean's role in the carbon cycle, revealing that the ocean is an active participant in regulating Earth's climate. The research is revealing a far more complex and dynamic system than previously imagined, where rivers and oceans interact in ways that are vital to life on Earth and the stability of our climate. To solve the mystery of carbon burial, Scientists use advanced ships and sediment corers to collect samples from the Gulf's floor. Each core is a time capsule, preserving layers of material deposited over centuries. In the lab, researchers analyze these cores for molecular biomarkers, unique fingerprints of plants, soil microbes, and algae. By comparing these markers at different depths and locations, they reconstruct the journey and fate of organic matter. This data reveals how quickly each type of carbon breaks down after entering the ocean. The findings are forcing scientists to rethink global carbon models. The Gulf's sediments are rewriting the story of how rivers and oceans interact to shape our climate. The biggest surprise from the Gulf's sediments? The ocean is highly selective about what carbon it buries. Biomarkers for soil microbes and freshwater algae vanish quickly offshore, showing they're rapidly broken down and released as CO2. In contrast, tough plant compounds like those in leaves and stems survive the journey and are buried deep in the seafloor. Only 20-50% of the river's particulate organic carbon is actually buried, the rest is recycled back to the atmosphere. This is far less than previous models assumed, meaning the oceanic carbon sink is less efficient than we thought. River deltas aren't just carbon pipelines, they're active filters, selecting what gets stored. The health of forests and grasslands upstream is crucial. Less plant matter means less carbon buried at sea. This discovery is a game-changer for managing our planet's carbon budget. The Gulf story is a wake-up call for climate science and policy. Why do plant compounds survive while others don't? It's all about the bond with minerals. Fine clay particles act as shields, protecting plant-derived molecules from decomposition. These strong bonds persist even when river water meets the salty gulf, allowing plant matter to reach the seafloor. Microbial and algal carbon, by contrast, forms weaker associations and is quickly stripped away and consumed. The type of mineral matters, rivers rich in protective clays deliver more carbon for burial. The geology of a river's watershed shapes its carbon delivery to the ocean. This mineral shield concept adds a new layer to global carbon models. Not all rivers are equal, some are far better at locking away carbon than others. Understanding these details is key to predicting and managing Earth's carbon cycle. The Gulf of Mexico is more than a resource hub, it's a vital carbon sink. Oceans absorb about a quarter of human-emitted CO2, and the burial of plant matter on the seafloor is a key part of this process. But new research shows that over half the river's carbon load is not buried, but returned to the atmosphere. This means natural sinks are less effective than hoped, increasing the urgency to cut emissions. 
Protecting river systems and coastal wetlands is essential for maintaining this climate-regulating service. The health of inland forests and soils directly affects the Gulf's ability to store carbon. Our climate future depends on these interconnected systems. Stewardship of land and sea is a global responsibility. The Gulf's sediments hold vital lessons for our climate future. Only resilient plant matter survives the journey to deep sea burial, forcing a rethink of Earth's carbon cycles. This knowledge is essential as we face climate change. Protecting watersheds, forests and sustainable agriculture upstream directly impacts the ocean's ability to store carbon. The real story isn't in political headlines, but in the silent record beneath the waves. Continued scientific research is crucial for informed climate action. The mud at the bottom of the Gulf may hold the key to our planet's survival.